Okay, I'm going to tell you about Dexpan Slow Expand for Breaking Rocks. Uh, Ow. Tried this stuff today. Uh, I don't know if it's going to turn out because uh, I got a challenging situation. Uh, the instructions say that you're not supposed to use it on rock uh, in the ground, uh, but I'm going to give it a try anyway. So here's the material Dexpan. Uh, four of these bags run about 130 bucks with shipping. So that's an 11 pound bag there. And you mix it with a one fourth of a gallon, which is uh, kind of tricky. But here's a look at what happens when you have some left over. You can see the dex pan is this was about maybe a half an inch or an inch of material when it was wet in the bottom of the in the bucket and. Uh, it uh, has been drying for maybe an hour and it's expanded that much. So over here I'm going to show you my project. All right, I'm following all the directions from Dexpan uh, about drilling one foot apart uh, in all directions and uh, going as deep as you can. My bit was up to about 14 inches. So here's what I got. I've got about 20 holes here. And they're spaced, like I say, a foot apart, filled with the dex pan. I'll push in here so you can see what it looks like in the hole. I'm not sure if this happens for everyone, but I want to tell you, uh, don't get alarmed when you first pour it in. And then in about, I don't know, 10 minutes or so after you look in the hole and it looks empty, uh, it, I, I'll find out in the morning if it worked or not, but I thought it looked like it had just completely leached into the rock and so I thought maybe my version where you're not supposed to do it in the ground didn't work, but we'll see tomorrow. Uh, regardless, I took a little more uh, mixture and I poured it in there and it didn't take very much, so it looks like it was just drawing in from the uh, top and uh, I think it's going to work. We'll see. Okay, I came back a week after setting the decks pan in the rocks. I didn't have time to get to the uh, digging uh, that time. So I noticed uh, when I had left, after about 24 hours, the decks pan had created some small cracks, uh, probably not much more than a hairline. Uh, so we're back now to start digging it out. You can see it's opened up quite a bit. Uh, lengthwise on the crack, you can see they're quite wide. Nice good separation, looks like a good fractures, but crossways to the rock they're more hairlines. So now it looks like I gotta get started with the jackhammer and start busting this out. And you can see what the dex pan looks like in uh, after it's been settled for about two weeks. Here's a quick look of how the stone is broken up using the dex pan. Uh, you can see this is uh, breaking along the lines where I set the dex pan and this is probably one of the better examples of jackhammering it out. You can see it. The rock is coming along nicely in that slot. Uh, bad news is that, you know, the, the at least up here in the uh, Sierras, the uh, decomposed granite is really hard and brittle for the first 10 to 14 inches and after that uh, it's uh, decompressed granite or decomposed granite and so it's uh, softer and the dex pan doesn't work uh, below below about 10 or 12 inches.